My name is Leanne Kerman, and I'm from Michigan. And um, I uh, found out I was pregnant when I was 16, but I was almost 17. And I um, took it to my boyfriend, and and so we met, set up a, a meeting with the, all the parents. And um, he spoke out and said that we had talked it over and we were going to um, have an abortion. We felt that was the best thing to do. My face dropped. I did not know. It was a big setup. Um, I, from then on, I um, tried to uh, go to my pastor and he said he could not get involved with family matters. I went to other people and they all were on the side of abortion. I tried to get family members to, you know, stop that. I cried every day, most of the time. My grades dropped in school. I was a junior. And um, I had the abortion, but I did not set up the abortion. My family did. I did not take myself in there. My family did. I did not sign the papers initially. My family did. And I was told that I had to have the abortion. I wouldn't have a place to live. So I did have the abortion. I did finally agree to it after sitting there for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, when I came out of the abortion um, suite, the, I rem have a flashback of the bloody sheets that were underneath me. And to this day, I still see them in a very disruptive manner. That's called flashbacks. And it's very intrusive. I um, tried to heal myself by getting involved with right to life issues. And I started um, actively working with right to life and in my state, trying to get the informed consent bill. I test before, testified before the uh, state house and the state senate in Michigan, and I faced off with Judy Karanchev from Planned Parenthood on TV. Um, it was a very difficult time for me. It, I actually got very ill after that. and. Um, so then anyway, but to, uh, to heal myself further, I got in with a group of Christians and we formed a board at, for, to start a maternity home, Paul Hannah's house in Lansing. So I worked with that. I began working with Right to Life even more and more. And um, I started singing in the choir because that made me happy. It helped me heal. And so I, I still had to deal with my family they kind of shut me out of family things. They um, didn't treat me nice even when I came to family functions. And But I for, learned to forgive them. And they all are pro-life now after all the work that I've done. But in any event, I got tired of being silent. And I will be silent no more. Yeah.